When we say the gospel, it's really important that we pause and define it again. Because for many people, we have pieces of gospel and not totality of gospel. Right? So for many people, and, and this was my understanding of the gospel for a, for a long, long time, and it's important and it's good. The gospel is that Jesus died for our sins, rose again, defeated those sins, and therefore, when I die, I get to go be with God someday. I want to, as I always do, a thousand percent affirm that that is true and part of the gospel. But it is not the whole gospel. The whole gospel, as it is announced by Jesus himself in his ministry, would be something like this. That Jesus is the true and victorious king who alone has brought peace into this world through his incarnation, his coming, his death, his resurrection, and ultimately his ascension. It is a holistic and total thing. That is that it is not just for you, it is for the world. Right? And it is not just for someday, it is for now as well. And it is not just about you being rescued, it's about you being called into a whole other kingdom, a whole other way of living life, which means rejecting allegiance and obedience to all the other things that we have given ourselves to. This is a holistic call. It's why Jesus is regularly asking people to count the cost. This is the worldview for a Christian. This is the bedrock. Jesus, who he is and what he's done and what it means for us is the foundation that we're called to build our lives around. 